Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to recreate the border timer effect from Lad Bible videos on Facebook. Also, how to recreate some of the logo and transition effects at the end of their videos. So first, import your footage. I got this viral video style clip from Pond5 for free. Set the composition length to around 20 seconds. Add a new shape layer and place the rectangle shape over the footage. Adjust the sides to make sure it completely covers the footage. Next, select Add, then Trim Paths. Under Rectangle, select Stroke. And change the width to 6. Adjust the size to make sure it covers the footage. Then select Fill, and change the opacity to 0. Now we can see the footage with just the border. Go back to Trim Paths and set the start and end values to 50. Set a keyframe on both. Then go to almost the end of the clip on the timeline and change the value to end at 0. And start to 100%. You can now see that the border starts in one corner and meets at the opposite. To create the effect where the border fills the entire screen, go to the stroke width and set a keyframe where the borders meet. Go a few frames forward and increase the stroke width to 400, which should fill the entire screen. So to mask out the sides of the video, create a new black solid layer and set the opacity to 50, so you can see the footage. Then create a new mask that covers the footage and the border. Then choose Subtract next to the mask and increase the solid layer opacity back to 100%. OK, so the border effect is finished. The next step would be to add the logo effect to the top right corner. Create a new composition for the logo and type B-I-B-L-E using the font Futura PT Book. Next, add a new shape layer rectangle and move its layer under the text. Parent the text to the shape layer, and on the shape layer, set the track mat to alpha inverted mat. Then type in LAD, DAD, whatever you want. Set the font to Futura LT Bold. And that's it for the logo. Now go back to the main composition. Go forward a few frames, and set a keyframe for the scale to zero. Move forward a few more and increase the scale to 36. OK, so now the logo pops up in the beginning of the video. Next, we're going to create the logo effect and transition that appears after the border covers the video. Make a new composition called End Logo using the text and shape layers already created for the smaller logo. The top text can just scale up from zero. I also added a camera lens blur effect that starts with a value of 1 and goes to 0 as the text scales up. Next, add a rectangle shape layer that scales up then outward slightly. Change its opacity to 0 when the Bible text appears. The Bible text increases in size horizontally. After the logo is on screen a few seconds, it transitions out. To do this, add linear wipes to both sides of the in logo composition. That's it for the graphics. The final step is to make the audio fade out by setting keyframes on the footage audio. It started at 0 decibels and I lowered it to 15. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and thank you for watching.